Honestly, I don't know what I'd do without you. Look, I am here for you. You just take all the time you need. I'm sorry I can't stay, though. Can I call you later? Yeah, of course you can. Anytime, anywhere. You know that, yeah? Oh! <laughs> sorry, Leanne, <laughs> you gave me a fright. Hello, Harper. Hi, sorry, I'm silly, I'm a bit jittery. Mm. So can I get you a tea or a coffee? No trouble. No, no, I need to get back to work. Um, I'll be expecting your call. Bye. Was there something you needed? No. But I can see you need a tissue to dry those tears away. Just watery eyes. All part of the headache, is it? Or did you forget? Yes, uh, throbbing. Mm. No, we'll just have to make that work. Thank you. Bye. Who was that? Tesley, the real estate agent. Don't tell me they've found a buyer already. No, more viewings. I've been kindly asked to clear all the benches and fluff the pillows and maybe pop a diffuser into the toilet, preferably sweet pea and jasmine. What? If they want to turn this into a show home, they can do it themselves. I can't be certain, but this actually might be the first circle of hell. So what's the plan? I don't know. It's all just happening so fast. I want to make an offer, but the bank says I don't have enough for a deposit. If it wasn't for me and that stupid festival, Leanne would still have money and she'd be able to co-sign the mortgage. No. Mm. I just have to let this place go. Find a rental like everyone else. Oh. Best excuse? Your headache? Who's hungry? I'm cooking my stir-fry special. You're in a good mood. Uh, big announcements, everyone. My paintings. The the deal fell through. Oh, no. But Laura found another buyer, so I still get my 15 grand. Yes! <laughs> yeah, and who's the buyer? Uh, anonymous. Is that right? So uh, will they be displayed in a gallery somewhere, a lobby? Uh, it's a private collection, all very hush-hush. Laura doesn't even want me talking about it, so maybe don't say anything. Well, I would have loved to meet whoever has such a good eye. Yeah, same. Uh, Leanne, are you staying for dinner? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just the help. <laughs> oh, no, she has been amazing. She's cleaned our room, all of Bubba's sheets, everything. Mm, just doing my job. <laughs> so don't forget to uh, take the baby monitor upstairs tonight, Tess. Yeah. Very handy, those things, aren't they, Zara? My man boy. This is not funny. No, it's not funny. Boyd's still got it. That's the main thing. No, it's not. Zara is a mess. Why? Because she doesn't want to hurt Chris Warner. <laughs> the Warner can handle a knockback. In fact, it'll be good for him. And I can hurt him when he's weak. What? Well, the PSC is raking at him, but he's taxing me like a card-carrying Green Party member. Is money everything to you? Look in the mirror, honey. Excuse me? Do you want me to sell the batch? Give it to charity? Oh. Thought so. You're a greedy capitalist, just like the rest of us. Hello, Harper. Again? Hi. Um, so... I better check on my slaves. After you, just so you know. I'm always here for you, no matter what happens. Cool. Thanks. What's with your attitude towards Harper? Do you really need to know? You have to watch that gossip streak, Nicole. What do you want to drink? Oh, tap water. Oh, please. Oh, I'm a pauper now, homeless. I need to watch every dollar. Mum, you're depressing me. I'm a cleaner. This is my life. I suppose. Oh. TK is after a babysitter. Tilly's easy to look after, just let her do her thing. I'm working, sorry. Same. I can babysit Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> All good. She can hang out with me. How's she coping with moving house, you know, the stress of it all? Oh, we're staying put. Oh, so you're buying the apartment? Yeah, sign and seal. Where you fellas go? Oh, well, well we're just spoilt for choice. Ah, so many options. Oh, stay here, Nick. Just buy it. <laughs> easy for you to say. <laughs> See you guys later. See ya. Oh, these doctors. Dripping with cash and good credit. Just ignore them, Nick. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I could rob a piggy bank. I thought you had that tucked away for Belly's education. Yeah, but I could get it out. There might be fees, but still. 
Well, enough to boost your deposit, get a mortgage. Where's the shot? I'll pay as much rent as I can. Yeah, I, I could get a second job. I can help you, Mummy. Oh. <laughs> oh, imagine that settled and secure, not being pushed around from pillar to post. I could call this place home. Oh. Home? It's nice. All right, I'll call the bank. And I'll iron your pantsuit. It's a power dressing day. <laughs> What? I wasn't expecting you in today. Oh, there's always something dirty in a busy house. <laughs> and uh, a new mum always needs an extra hand. Oh, no, I've got heaps of help. <laughs> Don't fuss. I'm happy to be here. More croissants, anyone? Fruit salad? Mm. I'm OK. Oh, no trouble. I'll whip some more up. Here, don't forget to take your medication. Oh, I did forget. So when's payday, Picasso? Uh, it's already in. Really? Uh, mm. I got a text from our landlord in Berlin. Rent's all paid and he's happy. Funny how that'll work down at the end, eh? I might go check on Amelie. Oh, I, I can, can do, do that. that. It's fine. Pace yourself, Wonder Woman. Sorry? All the kids can pull their weight. You know I love doing this. What? Everything? Your family is my family. I want to see them happy and healthy. And their lives are busy enough. Their home should be a haven. Um, so, <clears throat> are you all prepped and primed for your big mortgage meeting today? No, I'm scared witless. All right, well then let's role play. What? Yeah, I'll be the big bad mortgage guy and you can practice. Don't be too meany. Uh, <clears throat> Proof of income. Yes, and a sparkling recommendation from Chris Warner. Well, that means nothing to me. Okay, ouch. <laughs> uh, deposit? Yes, I managed to break open a nest egg that I had for Billy. Who's Billy? Billy is my son. Um, I was going to use it as an investment. Oh, look, I just I don't have time for sob stories. Sorry, but that's what they're going to say. So do you have a 20% deposit? I'm hoping that what I do have will be enough. You don't have 20%? No. Oh, well, it's OK. I mean, sometimes they make an exception. Look, I've struggled too, Nick. You know, the tax thing was true, remember? Yeah, I remember. But, you know, I don't have a quaint little batch that I can use as leverage. I'm just saying I feel your pain. Look, and don't worry that you've only got a small deposit. Just go in there and be confident. But even if I do get this mortgage, it's going to cost a hell of a lot more than what I'm paying in rent. You'll be OK. Change sucks. Well... Look at it this way. Up until now, you've been piddling away your hard-earned money on rent, flushing it back into the hospital. When you own, you'll be flushing it back into yourself. That is a gross <laughs> analogy. But, yeah, I, I see your point. And every week you'll be missing, what, a couple of hundred bucks? It's nothing. It's nothing if you're head of ED and you're married to a plastic surgeon. Look, it doesn't matter. This is my reality. There's no point crying about it. Yeah, my darling. Mm. Oh, when you wake up, you come and see me. <laughs> oh, Tess, you should get some sleep too. I won't vacuum until you're up. Oh, thanks. So good having you here, Leanne. Is it? You're very caring, especially with Tess. Mm -hmm. I feel very confident having you here. Otherwise, I wouldn't go. Go where? Well, I'm not sure yet. Queenstown, Gold Coast, Bali might be a bit too far. Romantic getaway? Yes. Is Chris going? That's a very odd thing to well, say. Well, I only ask because I care about Chris Warner. He's a man of honour to be respected, not laughed at behind his back. I don't know what you're talking well, about. Well, going on holiday is not going to fix this, Zara. Nothing you is know, broken. trying to run away. And you can't run away from yourself. If you don't love Chris, you need to tell him. I love Chris. Oh, I know all about your sneaky little affair. <laughs> I haven't... No, not yet, but the desire and the want. And you're both very experienced in the lesbian ways. Lesbian ways? Chris serves better and so does Drew. Oh, you think I'm having an affair with oh, Harper? Please don't try and deny this it. This is so disrespectful. It's to oh, Harper and no. me. Well, what about the hug and all the texts? You're spying on me, your employer? I can't help it if I see things. I should fire you on the spot. Oh. Oh. This stops now, or I'll be talking to Chris and we'll be finding a new cleaner. I'm sure that won't be necessary. Good.
about. It's not called leaky building syndrome anymore. It's more uh, weather tightness issue. Cool, thanks. Easily, hi. Hi, Nicole. Let's chat. Were those buyers interested or just window shopping? They started off keen until... The fake leaky building story? Yes, I heard that. No, they smelled something coming from your bedroom wardrobe. What? There was a rubbish bin in there, chocker full of last night's fish chowder. They didn't see it. Mum, you needed time. I bought you time. Well, I almost got myself fired today. I'm all in a tiz. Would well, you not clean something properly? Oh, look, I made one teeny tiny mistake and Lady Mux now threatening my job. I've got to get to Chris before she does grovel at his feet. I swear fealty. What did you actually do? Nothing. I had a vision for my life, which did not include being at the whims and mercy of the 1%. And here I am, at their mercy. Yeah, we all are. Well, it's not all about you, Eddie. Your appointment with the bank. Oh, how'd it go? Did you get the mortgage? Well, it's not confirmed, but it's, it's looking positive. Oh, girl. Yeah, the paperwork has to be signed off by senior management. And then I can, I can put in my offer. Well, how long does that take? Well, she said she'd call me tonight, but when I left, she gave me that look. <laughs> so we just have to sit around and wait. <laughs> and pray to the universe <laughs> like never before. And one old school gin and tonic. <laughs> Growing my grandchild, stroking my liver. <laughs> She's so kind, isn't she, Eddie? She is. Is Nicole OK? Hmm? Oh, I think she's talking to the bank. She's talking to Desley, the real estate agent. Oh, she pissed. TK didn't have any issues with her. That's because he's a wealthy doctor. She looked into his eyes and saw her commission staring back. Sorry. Don't apologise for your family being wealthy. Well, not exactly what I'd call wealthy. Oh, you didn't have to think twice about buying the apartment. Poor old Nicole's scraping around looking for every dollar she can find. What did dumb old Desley want? Someone put an offer in. Oh. Yeah, must have been that couple. Oh, my child are backfired. This is the universe telling me off. Oh, wait, has it been accepted? Um, not yet. So it could be conditional, based on finance, inspections, all that stuff. Not if they flag it and just go unconditional. Mm. It's only a matter of time. So she's me so many lessons today oh, no, that I was begging Harper, making false accusations, although I still have a hunch I just she got an email from the bank. Mm -hmm. And? Yep, and they won't lend me the money. So no mortgage, no apartments. And that doesn't matter. The money I set aside for Billy, that didn't even mean anything. Yeah, oh, for goodness sake, someone! Put her out of her misery, please! <laughs> um, what's going on? Well, um, Nick, you have been such a great friend to us for so many years now and we've just got so much history and it's like you're you know part of our family which is why we um which is why with the... we're your landlords <laughs> baby you're my what yeah we, we, we put an offer on the apartment it was you yeah and it's just been accepted no we're not homeless anymore <laughs> so you don't have to move and um we'll just keep giving you reduced rent you know the same that you're paying now oh and... we'll talk about it we'll struggle <laughs> wow that's that's really generous <laughs> Nicole? Say something? So the house you're living in now, that was mine, and this bar, that was mine, and now you're coming for my apartment. Why not put an offer on my kid? Do you want him to? Okay, okay, oh, we'll do this for you. Pathetic Nicole. She can't get her life together. So someone save her okay. and grab all her stuff while you're at it. Okay, we were trying to help you. You can't afford the apartment and we can. It's a win-win. Win-win? It's bullshit. You're the only one winning every time. Screw you, Harper, and screw your fake charity. 